Seven o'clock, many bars have struggled these past few months after they were forced to shut down because of this pandemic. And now one bar in Stafford that was trying to raise funds is facing another challenge after it was hit by a thief. Channel 2's Keith Garvin is live in Stafford tonight with the story. Keith? Hey there, Chris. Well, think about it. This bar, the Stafford Ice House, has been locked and closed for much of the past six months. They admittedly are in dire straits financially, and they've now even been set back further because of a thief. We don't know what what we lost. But what they do know is that a recent break-in at the Stafford Ice House in Stafford could push this family-owned business over the brink. The bar has been in this eight-square-mile city in this spot for 26 years. Already in debt because of COVID, police say the owners took another hit when this man, seen in surveillance video, broke in last week and stole $800 worth of items the bar was hoping to use for an auction to help pay bills. You're already closed. You're already fighting. And then to have someone come in and... Uh, do what they did. The surveillance video shows the man after he entered and spent about 20 minutes inside stealing auction items and about 15 cases of beer. They say he also took time to defecate in a trash can. The robbery, coupled with the last six months, has taken a toll on the female-run bar as their industry has been forced to stay closed. They don't have any help for us, but they continually make us not work. And we want to work. We want to feed our children. But work to hold the auction this Saturday continues. They are hoping the thief gets caught and also praying the community turns out to support them on Saturday as they try, as owner Carla Webb would say, to stay in the fight. Hopefully we'll be here. We want to make it another 26 years. So if you would like to help this business stay afloat, Saturday's fundraiser to benefit the Stafford Ice House will begin at 10 a.m. They will have that auction. They're also going to serve barbecue and beer, of course, and they plan to have some fun activities like a dunking booth. And the owner says not only is this a family-owned business, but she says the customers are just like family as well. We're live from Stafford. Keith Garvin, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Keith, thank you.